Hi guys, um, I wanted to walk you through using Google um, Canvas really quickly. Um, this is just going to be a short video just to kind of show you some of the basic tools that I use to create this drawing of Callie. Um, one of the first things I want to show you is that once you've done your first drawing, you can do another one without erasing this one. You just go up to this little house right here. This is your home. It'll take you to a gallery. The only drawing I have so far is of Callie. And here you can just click new drawing to in, have a blank page and save your old drawing. Okay, so here are your basic tools over here. You've got an eraser, a piece of chalk, a marker, a calligraphy pen, and a pencil. And then up here you can change the size and also the opacity of whatever tool you are using. Um, the opacity is just the see-throughness or the solidness of the tool that you're using. So the less opacity you have, the more um, it's going to look like a highlighter where you can see through it. The more you have, the more it's gonna be like that India ink, that really black ink that we've used that covers everything. Um, and then you can just change the size of your pencil, marker, whatever you're using by using that. You can also change the color right here. And when you open it, it's probably going to look like this. They have a few basic colors you can choose from here, or you can go up to custom and click anywhere on this rainbow and choose to make some custom colors. So if I was going to do Cali again, I'd go somewhere in the orangish section, orangish goldish section, if I can get there. There we go. And I would choose a color for her, not quite. A little more gold. All right. And so that would be the color I would choose. Um, to do things that I want to fill in, I'm going to use a marker. I'm going to make sure it's pretty much opaque where you can't see through it and about a medium size. And like I've said, I use shapes to draw usually. So I usually start with an oval and a circle for her and then I would fill it in. Her ears are big triangles, so I'd add those. And I'm just using my finger on my computer pad right now. I'm not using anything special. Um, I would choose a new color for probably her nose. Let's just go to the palette. I think they have a pretty good pink. And I'm just going to make a little nose here for her. Um, it's nice that these are in like kind of perfect circles because I can just go and put little dots for her eyes just by clicking like that. Do her body. Um, go back to this color. The color that you use just gets saved at the bottom, so that's pretty cool. And I did her body and I added a lot of other details like outlining to make sure I did her face. Um, for the heart, I had used the chalk. Now, chalk is usually pretty transparent, which means you can see through it. Um, and I just used the basic colors and did the, um, oops, and I did, you know, like a rainbow heart over here. So I just kind of started by making a heart using the chalk. And as you can see, it's pretty see-through already. So you don't really need to change that if you, unless you really want to. And I just layered those right on top of each other. Um, the other thing that I used on this was the calligraphy pen. Whoops. Well, I'm going to use my eraser really quickly because I have this little square I didn't mean to put on there. Um, the calligraphy pen. I like the calligraphy pen because it kind of makes it look like it's coming out of an actual ink pen. Um, we're going to go with this size, this opacity. Um, and I just wrote her, wrote her name like that. And obviously there's a lot more that I added to that, but that's basically how to use this tool. It's really easy. Um, one more thing I'm going to show you is doing a new one from an image. So you can go to, I have a MacBook, but you can use do this on your um, Chromebook as well. You can go choose a picture and it'll put it in here and you can actually add things. That's Callie in real life. You can actually add things using the markers onto a photo. So that might be something you like to do. Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and it will help make things easier. Have a good day.